Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to the National Museum of African American History and Culture's Joyful Fridays program. My name is Arielle and I'm going to be learning and creating with you all today along with my teammate Tammy. Hi friends, I'm so thrilled to have you all here with us today for our Joyful ABC Fridays as we explore L is for Loving. We are so excited to have so many people joining us today. Thank you so much for being here. During our program, we are going to be reading a page from the Joyful ABCs book. Thank you, Tammy. We're gonna look at museum objects together and we're gonna create some art. Every week, we will explore one of the many things that make you, you, and all of the wonderful things that you can do. Looks like we're all ready to go. Give me two thumbs up if you're ready. I'm ready. Arielle, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. People like you all and me can have so many different ways to be today. We are learning about one of those ways that we can feel in and be, and it starts with the letter L. What words do you know that start with L? There are a lot of L words. Tammy, what are some L words that you know? I am thinking of two words, and that's L for leap and L for lizard. Ooh, all right. I was thinking of L being for lollipop, and there's even mm -hmm. more L's in the whole word. And I was thinking of L being for leopard. Let's see some of the other words that our friends are sharing with us today. We have L being for lucky and loud and long. I see L for lion and learn and lips. Ooh, I see L for llama and lemon and someone's friends name Lulu and Luke. I see lemon and leaf, another lion. Someone has love and ladybug and luck. Someone has an uncle, Luke, and lava. lava. I also have laundry and little Ooh. and loop. All right, so you three more. We like and love and library. Ooh, I will read our last three for now. Someone thought of light and lemonade and lint. I think those were some good L words. But the word that we are learning more about today is loving. Today, L is for loving. Let's read a page from our book together to find out more about this special word. L is for loving. You are loving. You can show that you are loving in lots of ways. Give someone a hug, show that you care. When you are loving, your heart will feel Full. People have a lot of different definitions for love. We all have different ideas about what it means to be loving, what it means to be loved by somebody, and what it means to love something. But I think there are a few things about love that a lot of people can agree on. Love is when you really care about someone or something, and that can be yourself too. And when you really care about someone or something, you show it. You try really hard to take care of those people and things and you wanna make sure that they're safe and you wanna make sure that they feel good. Love isn't supposed to be something that hurts you. Love is supposed to be something that feels good and that helps you. We can be loving in the way that we think about other people. We can be loving in the way that we treat people or the way that we speak to people. Love is something that we feel on the inside but that we need a show on the outside too. Love can be shown with our words and the things that we do. There are lots of ways to show that you love somebody in your life. 
on our book page today. The two children are showing love with a hug. Can you give yourself a big hug like that? Mm. You can show love by making something for someone, by helping someone, by speaking kindly to yourself. There are a lot of ways. Today, we are gonna learn a little bit about a person who had a favorite way to show people love. Her name was Leah Chase. From this picture, can you guess what Leah Chase's favorite way to show love was? Hmm? Did you guess with food or cooking? Because that's it. Leah Chase was a chef and she loved to show love by cooking for people and making them delicious dishes. During her life, Leah Chase owned a restaurant in New Orleans and shared her loving meals with thousands of people from around the world. Leah Chase once said, I love food. I love serving people. I love satisfying people. She sounds like a really loving chef. Her life and her love for cooking and for people is actually what inspired the Disney movie, The Princess and the Frog. Have you seen that one yet? Princess Tiana's character was inspired by Leah Chase and her restaurant. And it's one of my favorite movies. At our museum, we have a few things that are there that belong to Leah Chase and that they tell us a story about her love in the kitchen. Let's take a look. When Leah Chase was cooking, she usually wore a pretty colorful chef's jacket. Red and pink jackets were the main colors she wore, like this one that is at our museum. Do you see where her name is written on her chef's jacket? If you look really closely. In the painting, she's wearing a red chef's jacket and she's cooking at her restaurant, which was called Dookie Chase Restaurant. She cooked and served so many meals to people, people like you and people like me, presidents, civil rights leaders. In a lot of communities, food really brings people together, not just to eat, but to talk and to share love with each other too. Leah Chase said that food brings people together no matter who prepares it, as long as it's prepared with love. While she was cooking, Leah Chase used a bunch of different pots and pans and appliances and tools to make her dishes, including this pot that's at our museum. She cooked a lot of Southern and Creole dishes at her restaurant, like one of her most special dishes, gumbo. Have you tried that before? I love gumbo. And to make her dishes special, when she was cooking in that pot, Leah Chase used a secret ingredient. Can you guess what it is? It was love. She believed that everybody can cook. You just have to put a little love into it. When you're cooking, she said, you have to put all of your love into that pot. So let's try it out. Let's pretend to cook in the kitchen with Leah Chase. First, everyone put on your imaginary chef jacket. Put it on my sleeves. I wonder what color yours would be. And make sure you button all of the buttons on the side. All right, got your chef's jacket on. Next, everyone reach into your screen and grab the pot out like this and think, what would you, what meals, what food do you eat that makes you feel loved? Or what could you make or cook for someone else that makes them feel loved? If you've got it in your mind, start adding your ingredients into your Leah Chase pot. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add a little seasoning and a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit more of this. Okay, now the last step is to add the secret ingredient, the most special ingredient, remember, Leah Chase said you have to put all of your love in the pot. So let's take our love from our heart, take all of our love from our heart, and take all of our love from our mind. You got it all together and put it in the pot. Did you put all of it in there? All right, now, last step is you have to stir it all up. And let's stir really, really fast. 
And let's stir it nice and slow. Make sure the love really gets in there. Mmm, I can only imagine how delicious all of those meals will be. All right, let's put the lid on our pot. And we're gonna put our loving meal off to the side to pretend to cook while we move on to our next thing, all right? So we'll save it for later. So what do we know now? We know that Leah Chase showed love with food. And I think that's so wonderful. But what's so awesome is that there are even more ways to show love. So I wanna know, how do you show love? Are there things that you say or that you do to show people that you love them? Are there special things that you love? Are there pets in your home? How do you show your love? Please share with us one way that you show love in the chat with us. While we wait for some friends to share, Tammy, what is your favorite way to show love? You know, I was thinking about a few ways I love to show love. My favorite way is giving people I love a great big hug when I see them. Mm. I really like hugs too. I see that some friends show love by helping their family or by snuggling. I love to snuggle too. There are people who show love with hugs and kisses to their mama and their papa. I see that some friends give a high five, a hug, and saying, I love you. Saying I love you is the most clear way sometimes to show that you are loving. I think that's a great idea. Let's see what else. Some people show love during reading together. Some people show love by baking and giving their friends and family cookies. Oh, I bet that is really loving. And someone else makes necklaces with beads to show love. Oh, I wanted to point out, I think when you were talking about cooking, Ariel, someone said that they would make dinosaur chicken nuggets if they were oh. to make a meal for someone that they love. Um, let's see, someone else likes helping out others and giving hugs. Someone shares their toys. And someone helps their friends and family cope with their big feelings. Mm. Uh, sometimes being there for someone is another great way to show love. Let's read a yeah. few more. We have so many loving ways to be. <laughs> Some do. friends make pancakes, make food. They show love by listening. And they show love by telling their friends and family about the stories that they create. All right, I think we have two more here. Yeah. Um, someone says they blow kisses. That's a great way to show love. And they make art for their friends and they share their toys. There are so many different ways to show love. And I am so excited that we have so many loving friends out there today. Leah Chase showed love with food. It looks like you all have so many ways to show love. And today we're gonna to learn about another way that we can show love with our art project today. So it is officially art time. Hi. Thanks, Ariel. Like you said, there are there really are so many ways that people can show love. So today we are going to be loving and we're gonna make a love banner or banner of love like this one to have messages here. So Leah Chase, she was loving when she cooked for people who came to her restaurant. So she used food to show love. And we are going to use loving words and messages for the people that we love. You can see that there are words on my banner and these are actually messages for the people that I love. So to start this project, you're gonna need some paper shapes like these. I have some here, and if you haven't made yours, you can go ahead and take this time. Moss is gonna let you know in the chat that you're just gonna cut a shape, put some two. I've used two holes. I think Ariel has one hole on hers, but you're gonna need three to five paper shapes. You're gonna need markers or crayons, and you're gonna need string, ribbon, or yarn to string your shapes. I'm gonna be using a ribbon today. It looks like Ariel's using ribbon too. So on our first step, in most of our art projects, our first step is just to think 
for a minute, right? So we're gonna think about who we're gonna write these messages for. Think about the people in your life that you love and show you love. Who do you love being with? They could be people in your life that you see every day or people that live far away that you don't get to see very often. How do you feel when you spend time together? So now on our first shape, I'm gonna use this one as my first shape. We are going to write the phrase, I love. And Ariel is gonna show you what that looks like. Thank you, Ariel. Yeah. So the question is who? Who were the people you were thinking of when I asked you to think about those people in your life that you love? Did you love being with a friend? Was it a family member, a teacher, or was it maybe your pet? Do you love being with yourself? Let us know who you were thinking about in the chat. So as we're waiting for friends to let us know who they're thinking about, I would like to know, Ariel, who are you thinking about? Who do you share a loving memory with? I was thinking about my best friend. So I'm going to be writing, I love my best friend on mine. And maybe I'll add a little bit of decorations, but that's what I'm making my first shape about. That's a good idea. And I am going to write, I love being with my sister. She lives far away, but I really enjoy spending time with her when we're together. So let's read some of the chats and see who friends are thinking about. They're thinking someone is thinking about their brother, their friend in Colorado, maybe they live far away. And someone's thinking about their papa because he's their best friend. Some friends are going to be writing about, they're making a shape for their mom, they're making a shape for their siblings, for their twins. Some people are making shapes for their family members too. So here's what mine is, has started to look like. I wrote my words and then I, I did a little bit of decoration. So I've got my first shape down. All right, well, let me work on mine. I was reading the chats and I forgot to work on mine. So I'm gonna write, let's see. Let's see, who do you love being with? Okay, let's see, do we have any more in the chats? Someone likes being with their grandma and oh someone says their teacher and their dad so i think we have our first yes. shape done yeah. i'm going to put it off to the side now I think you may have a lot of people you're thinking about and that's great because you can make more shapes and make your banner extra long so don't have to think about one person, think about all the people in your life that you love. So our next step is we're going to think about what you love doing with the people that you love. What special loving memory do you share? So on this shape, I'm gonna use this one next. We're gonna write the word I love again, but this time we are thinking about what we love doing with that person. So think about activities or things you enjoy doing. Maybe you love when you've cooked with someone or you made a special craft. Maybe you love when they gave you a really warm hug and you felt loved. See, you know, and sometimes you, someone can just listen to you when you talk and you can feel love. So if just you- Just a reminder that you don't have to write your messages um, to show these things. If you don't, you could write, I love, and then you could draw a picture right That's here true. on your shape. You don't have to write words if you, if you don't want to, or you could write them later. Thank you for reminding me of that, Ariel. So please let us know what you love doing with that special person. Let's see, a lot of you gave us some 
people that you love doing things with. So now you want to know what you love doing with that person or someone else. Let's see if I'm going to write. I'm making mine. Mine says, I love cuddling with my cat. And I started drawing pictures of him. <laughs> my cat's orange, so I'm going to be adding some orange to my cat's face right here. I only have one cat, but that was just a little extra decoration. <laughs> so I'm going to start reading the chat. That looks great, Ariana. That looks just like your cat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Someone says we play basketball together. Someone plays Legos and splashing in the stream with their cousin and making pancakes. <laughs> that sounds so fun. That's loving and fun. I know. I guess most things you do that you do with someone that's loving is probably going to be pretty fun. Oh, yeah. Just because you love being with that person. Let's see. I'm going to finish writing mine. Right there for my decoration. I'm sorry, say that again, Arielle? Oh, I just was saying I added some hearts on mine for decoration. Just showing our friends out there. Could add little extra things to it. Now I have my two shapes ready. Perfect. Okay. Let's see if anyone said anything in the chat. Oh, someone wants to play outside with Papa. They love to walk at the beach and collect shells. I'm a shell collector as well. <laughs> you are, you are a shell collector. I love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have a collection somewhere near you, but I know it's um, a pretty big collection of shells. I've seen your collection before. So on our last shape, thank you for sharing those. So on our last shape, Oh, there's another color. And you know what I wanted to remind friends too, is that your shapes don't have to be circles or triangles. I made a pretty organic shape here. So I, I, when I drew this shape, I started at one end, just made some kind of curvy lines, and then I just cut it out. So they don't have to be, you know, district shapes. They can be very organic shaped as well. So for this last one, we are going to just draw. So you can draw a shape or thing that represents love to you or a picture of something that you love or enjoy. As a matter of fact, it could be anything you want it to be. We often tend to draw things that we love anyway. So maybe you can draw with your favorite color. So let's get started on drawing. Let's think about what I'm going to draw. Oh, and I wanted to mention too, Later on, you can think about maybe painting the other side. So I have this side I've written on it. And this side, you can maybe paint or make more direct, make, make more decorations on it or add some 3D things on it, like glitter or stickers. So you can decorate both sides. I might add some, I like glitter, so I might add some glitter to the back of mine. But if you're drawing a picture, can you tell us what you're drawing? So I'm going to get started on mine. I started drawing some um, cherry blossoms oh, wow. on mine. I really love cherry blossoms. So I, I wrote those, or I, I drew um, those on one of my shapes. And they are pretty much in full bloom right now, are they? Yeah, and they're starting to fall off the tree. So I have to make sure I spend time outside because I really love doing that. That's true. Okay. So I remember one thing that I love that I got to show love and receive love is when I was a teacher and I would read stories to my students and they showed me love by giving me hugs and telling me they loved them and we always told each other that we loved each other. So I'm going to try and draw a picture of me reading a book to some of my old students. I really like that, Tammy. You, were, mm -hmm. so you express your love to people maybe by reading with them, mm -hmm. sharing something that you like to do. I like showing love by making cards for people in my class. 
Oh, or these cards for them. And that's always been my favorite, like even since I was a little kid, to show love to people. But you do make a lot of art. I remember you, I think you were making a card for someone in your family. Oh yeah, family. all the time. Since I had a little extra time, friends, I started to draw one more shape. Um, if you have more time now, you totally can, but we are starting to finish up on right now, but you can always, always, always be adding more shapes and more love to your banner. All right, I have a few more comments here I'm gonna read. That someone loves going to the Children's Museum with their gram. That's and sweet. someone, is drawing pink and purple scribbles. And kitties and hearts on theirs. I like that. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up later, but here's a picture of me reading to Let my students. Oh, <laughs> I like problem. how you drew your hair there. I like that. I used that. to wear my hair like that a lot when I was teaching. <laughs> so it looks like we have gotten our three shapes yep. or decorated our three shapes and it's okay if you're not done now this actually this project is meant to be done long after this program is over because i want you all to make a great banner that you can show to people so let's look at how we're going to string our shapes together so we're going to need like i said ribbon and I use two holes on my shapes. I think Ariel is gonna show us how to use, to string it with one hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, just, just to start off how I string mine through with two holes. So I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm gonna pretend it's either a little snake or a rabbit. It's gonna come out of the hole like this. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come out of the hole and I'm gonna hold it on the other end and I'm gonna put it back it's gonna go back in the hole like this so now it's hanging here and i'm gonna pull it all the way down see i'm pulling my stray ribbon all the way down but leaving a little space at the end so you can hang it okay, i'm gonna try one more time and then ariel is going to show you how to do with just one hole so i'm going to take my ribbon again my little snake and my rabbit, he's gonna, they're gonna come out of the hole and they're gonna go right back into the hole. Ooh, you're gonna string it all the way until it's next to your other one. So I'm gonna finish mine while Arielle shows you how to do one hole. Yeah, so um, it looks like Tammy used a hole puncher to make her holes. Yeah, I, I just, poked my hole with a pencil. It kind of looks a little bit um, pushed through right there. And I'm gonna take my ribbon and I cut it so that it was pointy and was easy to pull through for me. So I just push it through and I pull it and then I'm gonna keep going with all of my shapes. So I just kind of make it pointy and then I push it through all the way through and I make, I'm gonna keep adding all of mine like that. Okay, so we'll give you some time to finish stringing yours on. All right, I am. Okay, that must. There we go. And I wanted to mention too that we strung all yours together. I used tape on the end of mine, and I taped it up on the wall. So you want? Some oh, space okay. So when we hang them later. Yeah, we we'll we'll use hang. tape. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that our banners are ready, <laughs> we'd like to share with you some of our messages. So I'm going to read mine. It says, I love being with my sister. Maybe I'll draw a picture of her and I will be later. And this one says, I love singing with my bird. And there's my bird right there. <laughs> and this is me and my former students reading a book. I'm going to add some more detail, maybe even color the back 
So it can be very, very colorful. Can we see yours, Aria? Yeah. All right. So I have one shape that says, I love my best friend. I have one shape that shows the cherry blossoms that I love. I have another shape that shows that I love cuddling with my cat. And then I just added an extra one for decoration with some more flowers on it. And that is all of the shapes on my loving banner. It's so colorful with that yellow ribbon too. It's really colorful. So I remember I mentioned before using tape to hang up your banner. So I wonder where everyone is going to hang theirs. I know I made one before that I made and I hung it up in my living room. So I wonder where hmm. you all are going to hang yours. Maybe someplace that everyone can see it. Or maybe someplace, you know, private, maybe just for you to see. Yeah, maybe I'll hang mine up in my room. I am super curious, though, where our friends will be hanging theirs up. We'd love to see your loving banners when you get the chance. If you'd love to show us on social media using the hashtag, hashtag Namak Kids, or tagging us at the National Museum of African American History and Culture, we'd really love that. Thank you for joining us this week, and we hope you enjoyed spending time with us as well as we learned about the many ways that you can be. I hope you continue to show love to your loved ones, and most importantly, show love to yourself. Join us next week when we'll be creating art inspired by a different Joyful ABC activity book. M is for messy. I would, I would love if you joined us next week. Um, and I'm excited to learn more with you about how messes can be moments for creativity. It's going to be so exciting. I'm looking forward to that one. In the meantime, we hope you find joy and new ways to create, discover, and